previously on 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Oh. Hey, you can tell. What's up, girl? You like my new ride? <laughs> and now back to... What the f*** is this? What the f*** was that? The f*** are you? Ah! Hell! The Sneako B. Back with some more. 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. When we last left off, what the fuck? <laughs> Turns out Yuki is actually Nachan's mom, at least in the future past. And why? <laughs> why exactly, huh? The thing is, I don't even know for certain that she's her mom in the where we are now at this point. Cause like, I'm thinking it's very possible that some of this time travel we think is time travel isn't time travel. And it's just like cloning or something, right? Or something. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Like fucking Tamau and shit. When she died or seemingly died, she just vanished or something. And then it's like, she's not really dead though. She went back to her pod where she's going to sit until the end. And then it loops back around again or something, right? So is it like the, the world gets killed, destroyed by the Kaiju. All the people that quote unquote die just return to their pods. And then once everything's destroyed, they wrote the kaiju come back out rebuild everything as it was put everybody back and do it again so that we're stuck in this continual loop of death and destruction or something <sighs> like something like that but that still doesn't explain what the sector zero thing because the sector zero does seem to have actual time travel like that I, right I, it seems like there's no way that can it could be anything else because it's always like 16 years ago back to that point in the bridge like it almost makes me feel like that's like the the starting point of all this or something i don't know is it Sector Zero is going to be a big fucking thing, right? They said, I got your information from Sector Zero. Like, everything that's getting information or something gleaned from everybody is being pulled out and, like, put into Sector Zero. So maybe Sector Zero is, like, the outside of the potential time period since everyone's... I think, I'm guessing every time period is, like, a little bubble, right? Assuming it's not all the same bubble or in different time periods, but I don't think it is. Oh, fuck, man. It's a lot just to wrap your mind around, but I fucking love it. I love it. And more importantly, we finally unlocked Goku! Goku's here! You finally see what the hell he's been doing this whole stupid time. Because we know so little about him other than he's a person who knows so much. And in that same regard, uh, last episode, <laughs> uh, Adila R said, uh, Goto arrives late with Starbucks in hand. Greetings, everyone. I would ask what did I miss, but I probably know more than all of you combined. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this comment. Holy shit. I love how perfectly in character it is. Like, I read that immediately in Goto's voice being like, Hi there, just like, come walk here with some Starbucks. Like, how, how are you all today? I'd ask what's going on, but I already know. <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny. When I'm when I picking the comment of the day, sometimes I'll find a few comments. I'm like, oh, these are good. Or like, I'll find one. I'm like, oh, this is definitely the comment of the day. And then I'll come across the one that just gives me a, a gut punch of laughter. And I go, nope, it's that one. And that was this one today. Like, I found a few that I was like, I read this comment, made me laugh my ass off. And I was like, nope, this is the winner. <laughs> Pretty much a guarantee. If I can find one that really makes me just like laugh my ass off, then it's, it's, gotta, be, it's gotta be the winner, man. But Adila, thank you so much for your truly hilarious and on point comment. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. But God damn, man. Oh, I've been dying to get back to more of this game. Ah, you know what I've really been trying to do? I've been trying to get, um, my five videos a week. I try to get that back on track. I've literally only been able to get four and I've been stuck in this sort of, I've been stuck in my own loop, actually, my own time loop, where if I manage to do five videos that week, it's gonna be five or three for AI, the Somni files, and two for 30 Sentinels. But if I, if I manage to get five videos that week, then it will alternate the next week, right? Because then I would have three 30 Sentinels videos and two AI, the Somni file videos. And nothing against uh, AI, the Somni files videos, but I'm enjoying this game more, okay? <laughs> Let's be per perfectly fucking honest. I'm enjoying this game more. And I wanted to get back to it, but only I've, I I've only had four, so I just keep having... Granted, it, it's been leading to two for each a week, but regardless, I'm always going to come back on Monday with more AI, the Somnia Files. I really tried this last fucking Friday to get a video out, but I just couldn't get it in time. And it's like, God damn it. I'm playing more of this fucking, fucking game. Piece of shit game. God, God. But guys, we finally done it. We finally unlocked Goto, which is the character I've been looking forward to playing the most out of everybody. I think he's the, he's super fucking cool and mysterious and, and everything. Look at him. Damn. Seriously, I look like a hot Moshe Rige. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see where in his uh, 
where, where in the timeline his shit like occurs, right? Uh, what was you locked off with? Was it like the final battle of, yeah, the second area? Okay. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. All right. Let us finally see, Goto. What have you been doing? Where are you? Who do you work for? Why do you know everything? Let's find out. Huh. Oh, that's so sick. That was a sick pose. Huh. Just turns around, pulls his glasses off from behind. You can't even see it. Final battle a few weeks earlier. Oh, so his stuff actually does. What do you think you're doing, Goto -kun? His stuff actually does take place, though, near the end. Like, I'm guessing this is this actually might be as far back, even further into the timeline than A stuff is. You know, but just behind the final battle. So was it too far off? I thought his actually might be occurring during the final battle. I believe I told you using the gate is prohibited. Shut up, bitch. I'm motherfucking Goto. I do what I want. Tell me, Miss Morimura. Is history one of your better subjects? I have some theories myself. I'd like to know if they're accurate. For example, the true location of the lost nation of Yamatai Koku. And the truth behind the Hanoji incident. How Oda Nobunaga really died. Unfortunately, my paper in middle school was bound to the failures of our historians. In theory, I could update it into a full report. In theory, at least. A shame that the gates are locked to specific points in time. What are you really working towards? It's simple. I want to know the truth. Me too, Goto! Oh my god. Holy shit. I've just been thinking this whole time, Goto's cool as fuck, but I might just get to his thing and he's like this, he's like, yeah, he's not, he's kind of dull and kind of boring. No, that was, that first lie right there was, I'm like, I'm already, my balls are just like tingling, like, holy shit, dude, this guy's so cool. <laughs> Let me tell you a story, Miss Murray Mara, about a snail. <laughs> no, this shit was so fucking cool, man. Oh my God. Are you all right? This isn't like you. That implies an understanding of what is like me, or at least, that you believe you understand me. Oh my god. That's not the point. You need to stop using the gate. I'm going to seal this place off. Hmm. Interesting. Did he just learn something? I think he did. Sounds like he might have learned something that's made him like either suspect Miss Murimura or maybe something about himself. Damn. <laughs> Sounds like you've got something to hide. I don't know what you're... Wait. Perhaps a personal notebook seems a bit archaic, but it does present certain advantages. Digitized data can be altered, fabricated, falsified. No intelligent person should trust you. <laughs> but you already know that, don't you? <sighs> oh my god, dude, what the fuck? Why is Goto so cool? Why is he so cool? You are acting strange, after all. I hardly think you're in a position to talk. If anyone's changed, it's you. I can only wonder why. What are you? Miss Morimura. Your boobs. My question is... Your boobs are too big. Who exactly are you? Morimura shortly after meeting. So, did the scout unit have anything for us? Well, the surface is a total loss. Hmm. Okay. Wow. That was so cool. <laughs> Sorry, that, that I was I was totally in, engaged by that scene. Okay, so you see that the this lab has now sort of been trashed, right? So it's been some time after the scenes we saw likely with Shu. I wonder if this might be before the Sentinel infection incident, like right before it, maybe? But Akino's here. Because Goto and uh, Tetsuya Ida and Morimura were all there for that final battle, like calculating shit, right? The automated factories are all running at full capacity. They're mass producing kaiju.
Well, hello there, Jurokun. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I'm still in here. Would you like some Starbucks, Jurokun? Sure. Uh, oh, he throws it in his face. Please, enjoy it while it's still hot. Anyway, how's it going? <laughs> oh my god, you see that? Look at Goto's walk. Even his walk looks like this is a man on a mission. <laughs> this is a man of supreme focus. Bitch. Goto coming at you. Hey, getting used to everything? The technology itself isn't so different from 40 years ago. The real surprise was finding that it's all been integrated into one unified system. You sure don't seem like someone from your time. Uh, maybe this might be like the first time he's like been introduced to all of this, right? Because clearly he's someone who he's someone who's in the know, right? Um, although maybe even what his in the know stuff has been altered. Like he seems to be saying to Murray Mura, he's like, well, I uh, I've been keeping track of all this. Like he's basically going, we're starting at the very fucking end, right? Here's where I'm at now. I don't trust anything you say anymore, right? But now we're jumping back to the start of like, okay, this is us introducing you to time travel to all this shit, right? You're going to be someone who works alongside us for whatever. How are things looking? Maybe. About like we expected. Naturally. All the nuclear plants are stable. Seems like it's the same for other countries, too. Defensive measures. They want to ensure nothing interrupts production. Automated factory. You sure don't seem like someone from your time. So, these factories, are they particularly large? It's more about how they got totally automated. That was back in 2080. They started functioning as part of a network instead of individual units. A worldwide network comprising 1.2 billion factories. Oh, right. That was mentioned in... Fully integrated and synchronized. That was mentioned in uh, one of the mystery files. We talked about the factories. It wasn't okay. That was not just some window dressing of, of like, hey, look how cool and mass produced everything is in the future. It was those are actually also the factories being used to make the kaiju. It seems like. Based on a client's request, the computer designs a blueprint. From there on, everything is fully automated. Assembly, production, even cost-effective ordering of parts. The human element was no longer necessary for those processes. So it's a manufactory that can mass produce anything on a global scale. What are you thinking, Goto? They all function as part of a unified global manufacturing network. By its protocols, all 1.2 billion factories worldwide remain in automatic, perpetual production. And their sole output are these mechanized kaiju which we know as the D forces. That's so cool. So he's he's writing everything down. He's I like that when he's thinking he's reading from his book. Damn it. Fuck, dude, this game is so I'm sorry. I can't stop gushing about this game. I love that they start at the end basically where he's like, I've been writing everything in my book and this this cannot be altered, right? This is all my handwriting. You guys can fuck with, you know, data my, maybe my memories, my brain, ideas, this shit, but motherfucker, I got this little book. I guess you can pull some pages out of it, but shut up. <laughs> we checked on the plants in Kolkata and Chennai. Since they're the largest plants of this era and all, their production rate has doubled over the last three days. Just like last time. The timing matches up too. Not long now. They'll make their move soon. Like last time. So, like, a previous loop? Mori Murasan. Regarding my home time, that is, the year 2064. Oh, okay. You're certain we'll face a similar attack. We don't have long until they appear in 2064. That much we know. Okay. It'll be just like last time. No, not quite. This time, we have the Sentinels. True. Hmm. Anything on your end? Loosely speaking. We managed a partial data dump from the underground mainframe. Goto-kun? It's an archived news report concerning a certain scandal. More important, though, is its date of recording. When's the data from? The year 2188. In other words, far in the future. 
Even more so than our current temporal position, 2104. Let's see it. Future scandal. Ooh. Uh. Before dawn on the 20th. Oh, this. Eight Newman Inc. executives were taken into police custody. Charged with human trafficking and illegal cloning. Uh. Their established motive was to tamper with human memories. Authorities consider this an organized effort and are pursuing further charges. There's the cloning again. Mind hacking crimes have been on the rise in recent years. Mind hack! By exploiting nanomachines such as interlocitors, malefactors can overwrite stored memory information in cerebral synapses. This technique has recently been used to enable other associated offenses. Mm. These arrests come after a string of similar cases, including culprits criminally downloading memories onto another body. Evidence suggests these are attempts at a kind of technological reincarnation. And we've already seen more than 460 arrests connected to this practice. Shit. So we, I, I re we read about that in one of the mystery files. Someone mentioned cloning, but it was in kind of an offhand thing. But uh, they brought up the possibility of doing it, right? And now it's brought up again. I am starting to think that there are no time periods, except maybe Sector Zero. I don't know. Sector Zero is fucking weird. But everything else, I think, is just different bubbles with different clones of yourself. And maybe if you die, you just get recloned again, right? I don't know. Something like that. On my earlier th going back to my earlier theory a log concerning the scandal involving Newman Inc the report is dated 2188 some of their executives were taken into police custody the crime in question was apparently attempting to use nanotechnology to in theory take over physical bodies hmm okay I didn't know it was even possible to download memories Oh. The crime apparently occurred in June of 2188. Really? You don't know that, Okino. Is that something you definitely know later on? And you make use of? This is... Okay, so this is definitely before the sentinel infection incident. Itakun. That's not all. Let him finish. Regarding this Newman, I found one more log that could be relevant. This report is from March, about three months prior to the other log. Future merger. It's like regarding Shikishima and wasn't there? It was like Shikishima and somebody else. Newman Inc., the tech giant. Yeah. Interlocutors has been acquired by Shikishima yep. through a takeover bid. Shikishima CEO had this to say. Nanotechnology has made leaps and bounds over the 22nd century. Oh, fuck. That's Ida. That's, that is, that is Tetsuya Ida. That is the guy staying next to me, but him is when he's older. But what's his name? Now, even the human body can operate with all the power of a supercomputer. Wait, no. Is it? Wait, or is it Goto? Interlocitors have paved the way for humanity's next step in evolution. The voice sounds like Goto. For any one of us, all it takes is a thought. And we can have the world itself at our fingertips. With the brilliant minds at Newman driving our nanotech business, we look forward to a brighter future for Shikishima and all our affiliates. With this acquisition, Shikishima now sits among the top three in global market share of interlocutors. He didn't say his name. Fuck you. <laughs> that voice was totally Goto's. Holy shit. I, I thought it was Tetsuya Ida. I don't, by the way, I don't think. So is it possible then maybe Tetsuya Ida, this body that Tetsuya Ida is in? I, I don't think it's actually Shu Amaguchi's body. I don't. Well, then could it possibly be Goto's body? And I, th that I would say no, because the voice doesn't match up. It seems like whatever body you're in, right? You still get the same voice as whoever they were. Like when Juro jumped into Kisaragi, bot, it still sounded like Kisaragi, right? Um, but this voice does not sound like Goto. That voice actually did sound like Goto. Three months prior to the Newman Inc. incident, 
Newman was acquired by the conglomerate Shikishima. With these interlocitors, apparently some kind of nanomachine information technology, they've become one of the world's top megacorps. Mm. They kept talking about those interlocitors. You think that's the nano machines inside our own bodies? Oh fuck, this is super early. Super early. What the fuck? How I I can see where the time of this shit's happening. Hey, well, Kino doesn't know what the interlocitors are? What the fuck? So Shikishima's at the heart of this, too. At least we know we weren't wrong. This all began in the future after all. Still, 2188. 2104 is the furthest we can shift into the future. Yeah. It's a shame, but I don't think we can verify this ourselves. Yeah, that's the question. What the hell happened to 2188? Drop this lead for now. Better to focus on protecting Gotokun's hometown instead. Maybe so. We're almost out of time, so we'll need to move quickly. Best to return to the school in the year 2064. We'll need the cooperation of the other two compatibles. Gotokun, we should focus on putting the Sentinels through the combat sims. I hope you can join me. Sure. Other two compatibles. Who would that be? Oh, we're back again. Okay. My apologies, Miss Morimura. Making arrangements in 1985 proved somewhat difficult. I'm sorry we've had to remain here the past few days. <laughs> I love... I love how when he was, he was like, kidnapping baby Chihiro, he was like, Please calm down, Miss Morimura. I was like, ah! <laughs> He's just so, like, nothing phases Goto. Not much we can do if it's an emergency. <laughs> baby Chihiro! Oh, you're so cute. I should pinch your new cheeks. Stop it. I am a scientist. I am a professor. I went to college. I have to ask. Was it absolutely necessary to dress me up like this? <laughs> Does it bother you? Considering the age you appear, well, it struck me as the most inconspicuous choice. <sighs> so what happened between the other point and this point? Are we before it or after it? Ah. You're not having trouble walking, are you, Miss Morimura? <laughs> are you grumpy? You should probably just call me Chihiro. Otherwise, we'll seem suspicious in public. Okay, Chihiro. The sun. <laughs> Better drop the sun, too. Damn. Allegra Clark doing some work here. Allegra Clark's like, holy fuck. How, I, how much higher do you want me to make my voice? Do I need to suck on some helium before we do this? Honestly, I'm surprised you were able to find me at all. A certain data log helped. I found records that your mind had been transferred into the young child standing before me. Hmm. Oh. This body is a juvenile clone of me. <gasps> I ran an experiment to see if I could restore my compatibility. It turned out to be a failure. That's why I sealed my memories. Oh, fuck. There it is. There it is. There is some... Finally, somebody said, this is a clone of me. Cloning is totally a thing. All right. Got it. Gotcha. I guess the log from that experiment got preserved. I think this takes place maybe after what we saw before. What time period are we in? Is this the 2104? Yeah, I think this is where uh, Kisaragi was from, I think. Yeah, okay, so I think this might be taking place after. I think he might have figured something out about that Murimura saw nurse and learned that, oh, wait, that's not actually Miss Murimura at all. And this is where Miss Murimura is inside this little girl. This compatibility, that'd be the ability to control the gate and the sentinels? You need compatibility to control the mainframe. Okay. I was once compatible myself. But after everything got rewound, I lost that power. Maybe it's hard for you to see how crucial that ability is. But you'll understand soon enough. I hope so. This refers to the humans who can control the UFO's mainframe. Those compatible have nanomachines implanted in their bodies. Hmm. But once it got rewound, I lost that power. So something that they would have gotten from the UFO or something? So like, 
Iori that grew up into motorcycle chick had that capability, probably, right? She was with Dura Izumi. And she seemingly... I think that version might have died. Wait, no, well, no, that version still... We still... Like, she died with, and she left at one point, right? Supposedly. But then we still see her in the Sentinel Infection incident. Fuck. Fuck, there's too many versions there, everybody. What's going on with my actual body? She's acting like a completely different person. Oh. My theory is that someone's taken control of her. Oh. You're saying she got mind hacked? <gasps> mind hacked! She's clearly behaving very differently, at least. It seems like she's working against the Sentinel Project. It's like she's been influenced by 426. Oh. Or the man himself may just be wearing her face. That certainly explains why you woke me up. <sighs> woke her up? Not much to go on, though. Either way, we'll have to do some more investigation. Oh my god, I cannot wait to see. I can see it's been quite a while since my memories were sealed. Five whole years. Where the timeline happens. And now four sectors have gone dark. Talk about a rude awakening. So, actually, no, I, I think we're... Wait, where are we fucking right now? I, I, I wish I paid more attention to what the time period was. It seems like the final battle takes place entirely in 1985, right? That's like the final district or sector that has not been destroyed by the kaiju. It's like the basically the, the final showdown, the last place to protect. First, you'd better catch me up on major developments in the last five years. Easy enough. Here's Google. Hardly comfortable surroundings for a briefing, though. I'll explain over in 1985. No, we are. We're in... We're in a destroyed sector. We're in 2104. That one's destroyed. We're hopping back to 1985. That's not been destroyed. A few more weeks earlier. Stop hopping around so much, game. That should do it for preparations. Back in the fucking UFO. Now, let's see if the biometric authentication works. Holy shit! We haven't been back here in fucking ages. I mean, this is like seriously the only time we've ever been inside the UFO was like super early. Fast walking, go to. Okay. What are you doing, Goto? Ooh, that tickles. Mmm. Did it go through? Looks like that got me past the initial barrier, at least. So it seems like... Okay. Now, with Miss Murimura's ID... Is he trying to see... Okay, do I have the nanomachines that can get me past this was when he got shot by yakashiji is that what gave him potentially the the nano machines or something the ability to control the sentinel i should be able to get into her logs oh my god they're throwing so much shit at me now or found it one of the logs she left behind who Experiment log. Today's date is March 2nd, 2100. Well, I guess there's no point in putting a date to these logs. They've probably got four years left until the invasion begins. I ran an experiment on my clone. I wanted to see if I could make her more compatible. I had more than enough data stored in Sector Zero. Oh. She would have had all my memories. However, I could not establish compatibility in the clone. No more than I could in myself. Maybe there really is no way we can survive this. Not even Itakun knows about this experiment. I've kept this attempt a secret from everyone. The memories I implanted in the clone have been sealed. Okay. I left her in 1940 under the Miura family's care. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, okay, now it's starting to come together. Okay, okay. That's where he just got her from. That scene we probably got with Goto took place fairly shortly after he got me, uh, Miura's uh, little sister. Supposed little sister. I don't even know if at this point he's really her little sister. So she did, she created a clone of herself, stored her memories in her, and left her in 1940. Okay, but they're like, I guess you have to awaken them to in order actually for her to actually use them. She'll be able to grow up as her own person. Someone separate from me. Until they invade, at least. That methodology sounds familiar. Was she basing this project off of those memory overriding crime reports? 
all in an effort to achieve compatibility? So compatibility isn't just a matter of differences in the nano machines. So she's like saying that she was only a little bit compatible, but not like fully. And like the higher the compatibility, the more you could control. There's more. This file looks like the last thing recorded. Final log. Oh. We're running out of options. After the sentinel infection incident. We'll have to resort to Operation Aegis. If we go that route, we'll be risking the future of humanity itself. How do I make the call on a decision like that? But I don't know how else he and I can survive this. This is my only chance. Hmm. Wow. Holy shit, dude. Ever since the battle that ended with the Sentinels infected, yeah. Miss Morimura has been pushing this operation as one of its fiercest supporters. The final log that Chihiro Morimura left on the UFO. She speaks at length on Operation Aegis. Her goal is that he and she would ultimately survive, even at the cost of humanity's future. The question is. Who is he? Tetsuya Ida? Juro? Juro Izumi? Somebody we haven't met? Akino? Oh. That's puzzling. There's a log registered under my name. Oh. As far as I know, I've never recorded anything like this. Oh shit, here we go. Goto's log! Speaking. Fucking knew it. Did you confirm receipt of payment? Then I'm sure you can see to the details. Am I clear? I want her dead. Any means necessary. Execute her. And stop the project. That's not my problem. It's in your hands now. Do you realize what'll happen if her project gets approved? It could ruin everything we've worked for. You know what must be done. Wow. Kill Chihiro Morimura. Oh. Oh, well, shit. Was that really me? That man was a Shikishima executive from the year 2188. Is that supposed to be my future? Seems like a private communications log. The other person on the line wasn't recorded. Yeah. But it's clear enough what they're talking about. That was an assassination order on Chihiro Morimura. Which... I seem to have called in. Holy fuck, man. Oh my God. That was amazing. Holy crap. Holy crap. That was definitely worth the fucking wait. Jeez. Okay. We finally have a glimpse of who Goto actually is. Hard to know if it's, is everybody here going to have like their own future iteration, which that is the 2188 version or only some people. And then other ones are just like random people that got pulled into this. But anyway, Goto. Goto was the CEO of Shikishima Industries in 2088. That's who he is. Fuck, dude. Is that why he was picked then for all of this? Okay, we got. I gotta go first. I where in the fuck in this timeline? Inner Lossiter. Holy shit! What the hell? Four years after the resurrection, where four two six is. There's only one event that happens between then and this. Fuck. What's the earliest thing for Goto? Like, what's the earliest event? That one. Interlocutor is literally the first scene he shows up in. Not counting probably any versions of himself we might see later. I wonder if maybe this this right here might be like 426 killing, potentially Tetsuya Ida. It's just hard not to believe that Juro Izumi would not go and try to kill Ida here. I feel like he might kill this body and then Ida put his mind into somebody else, right? Which leads to this, this one here. There's a shift, right? Between this one and this one. This is... It is. This is four years later. This is not the same body as this one. It just isn't. 
There's no way he would look this different. And I don't even think his voice is the same as the, the shoe here. This is somebody else. So whose body is it? Who the fuck is it? Okay, let's keep scrolling. Uh, Seeker of the truth, or Seeker of truth. Wait, what? This is super early, I'm, what? Brynja Goda tries to use the gate in the science room, but she, I thought this was gonna be super at the end. It said this is just a few weeks. Are you telling, wait, are you? I'm sorry. Are you telling me this entire timeline just takes place a few weeks before the final battle? This thing, which is near the beginning, is just a few weeks before the, so like from this point onward, it's just a, it's just, what? No, what? That doesn't make any sense. Are you telling me that all this shit with Iori, like the first shit, like when she's going to school, love at first plight, all this shit is just like a few weeks or like not even a month or something. And then it's like, oh, final battle. This is like this was over years or well, or months at least. I mean, I guess technically since 1985. Uh, uh, like where's, wait, hold on. The first thing Iori was tears. Has that even happened yet? In lost her, uh, no. Okay, well, there's that. So I guess not counting the other shit here, Everything's just taken a few weeks, really. So between here, or, or, or no, maybe uh, here at least, and down all the way to the bottom is just a few weeks. That's a lot of shit that happens in a few weeks. Okay. I really thought this was over the course of months and I don't know, maybe years, because time travel, but I think not really time travel, so I guess not, right? If it were years, then we at some point turned to 1986, right? Because this. I'm thinking we're just jumping to sectors, not actually jumping in time periods, and each sector is its own place. Still though, holy shit. I thought this was gonna be like right, right before the final battle. Like this could be after A shit, nope. So he figures this shit out fucking early, super early, that go that Murimura is not potentially who she says she is. But then why doesn't he, does he do anything to stop her? I mean, he, he seems to, okay, then he goes to the UFO and finds uh, the message, message from himself, the CEO in 2188, calls himself Renya Goka. Okay. So it, it seems like up until this point, the Sentinel infection incident hasn't even happened yet, right? No, it not, wait, wait, yeah, it did. It did. Infection incident did happen. I forgot early in the timeline that happens. So it seems like up until this point, he's been working with Maria Murrah, right? And then now he's like, wait, this Murimura is not the one she says she is. Okay, okay, where's the, where's where he wakes up? Uh, there she is. Okay, uh, where did he yoink her? There, Jihiro kidnapped. Okay, and then a boy's first battle. Uh, jumps back in time. Uh, Natsuno's with him. Uh, oh, uh, Nenji punches Miura. I think, and then uh, wakes up at Shu's place. And so, yeah, with the next scene is literally, she's just awake, or she's there. So we don't really see what, exactly what he did. I guess he just like messed with her nano machines to wake her up. And now she is free. Okay, this is not at the end at all. This is all super early. Is that it? I don't think anything else. It is, fuck. Okay, so my prediction of where in the timeline that was is completely wrong. He still got shalash stuff at the end though. So like, what is he doing here? So, okay, after the inner loss, or the next scene he is in is the central infection incident where he's helping try to stop shit. Uh, and then one where he's with uh, Kisaragi. Actually was, no, Kisaragi's time period was 2025, not 2104. Wait, wait, oh, right, what the time period? I'm sorry, I just look, to, she, yeah, it was 2025. I was, it wasn't, yeah, I thought it was 20, 2104. It's 2025, that's where he met Shihiro. I'm sorry, I'm trying to piece shit together. Uh, yeah, takes Kisaraki, brings her 1985, something happens, comes across something, seeker of truth. Uh, the future Renya Goto, uh, the new old building. Oh, right, and this is where he's like, Goto in, is this where he's talking to Tamao Karabe? Then he's, yeah, I think it is. He's like, I'm gonna change your medication. And then he's like, all right, I'm gonna steal this girl, bye. She's there. Um, okay, and then not long after this, this is where Miura uh, runs into him and her. And he's like, ah, my sister. And he's like, hey, no. Okay, then the shootout dream where Goto's like, hey, clean up the science room, bitch. Oh, and then this is where Goto gets shot. So for, okay. So this is totally it. Like his, when he's testing himself, right? This one, 
He's like checking his nano machines or something. He's like, I managed to get past the first wave of security or something. So he does have some compatibility, I think, that if I'm understanding it correctly. Then he then later he gets shot. And maybe maybe that makes you fully compatible. Maybe that's the point. Like the gun is actually making you completely compatible now, right? Which actually would lead me to believe that Mr. Kitty is not evil, despite him seeming super evil. He's actually tr genuinely trying to help. He's just kind of an asshole. And there's Jura Izumi, uh, and then a whole lot of shit. <sighs> Holy fuck, dude. Okay, so this is a lot to take in. All happening super early. Okay, let's go look at the mystery files. Oh, baby, give it to me. Right now, go, go! Comes from the future, the destroyed world of 2065. With calm and patience, he brings the Sentinel pilots together, always keeping an eye on their ultimate goal. He acts as a leader to the other students. After seeing Murray Murrow's logs in the mainframe, Goto visits the Karabe house in 1945 to abduct Murray Murrow's clone, Chihiro, and restore her original memories. 2188, CEO of the largest conglomerate, Shikishima. Wow. So that's who he is, or who he becomes, or was, I don't know, whatever. Uh, Chihiro Murray Murrow, baby Chihiro. She's Chihiro Murray Murrow's clone, created from the compatibility experiment. Upon birth, her original memories were sealed by Murray Murrow, and she lived a normal life as Miro's little sister. However, once Rainier Goto saw Murray Murrow's experiment log from March 2nd, 2100, he abducted her from the Murray Mira household and awakened Murray Murrow's sealed memories. Goto is the also the one who prepared her kindergartner outfit. She got a bunny. Uh, gate. The gate in the mainframe can't be controlled without the biometric ID of a compatible individual who possesses nanomachines. Maybe they're already compatible then, and the only thing that the gun's doing is making them able to pilot a sentinel? We got a lot of shit. The Aegis system. We wow, I finally got a file on this. A terminal's defense, self-defense system. When the Aegis system is activated, the Kaiju won't be able to invade a specific range around it. It takes two minutes for, for the system to activate. Yeah, I did say it was like a serious, like two kilometers or something around it is now completely safe. As every time I, you know, uh, beat a mission. Oh, here we go. The compatible. Those with the capacity to control the gates, sentinels, and the mainframe. In an experiment to see if she could transfer her compatibility onto her clone, Murray Murray used her data, which she had saved in Sector Zero, to create her clone. However, this experiment failed to establish compatibility. The clone does not have full compatibility, baby Ch Murray Murray. Or does he have no compatibility? It sounds like she, when she said it, she may sound like, I, at least, like, I couldn't transfer compatibility, at least not any more than what I already have. Right? I need to go watch that scene again and see how she phrased that. Sentinel. The Sentinels were ready for use after the 2104 Kaiju invasion. The first time they were actually used in battle was 2064. Really? Sentinels were, were ready for use after 2104 Kaiju. Okay, so, so that was like the first time they brought the Sentinels. Or like this time we have the Sentinels. But up to that point, they'd never been used, maybe. If I'm understanding correctly. Goto's notebook. Notebook that Rainier Goto always walks around with. It includes schedules, diary entries, investigative findings, issues, unanswered questions, and more. All written with characteristic conciseness and clarity. This is one of the birthday gifts that Goto was given each year by his father. But he only has a few more days before all the pages are filled. I need to go watch that scene again. Oh, okay, here we go. Data then stored in Sector Zero. She would have had all my memories. However, I could not establish compatibility in the clone no more than I could in myself. So how do I interpret that as no more than I could? So she couldn't give herself full compatib she couldn't give herself compatibility, but she's inside of a sentinel. It seems like she's still got some compatibility, right? Or maybe she doesn't really doesn't have any? Jesus Christ, man. Oh my god no you have got to be kidding me oh that's just so mean that's so fucking mean game why would you do that why would you do that protagonist with story progress at 80 percent or over so literally everybody else has to be at 80 percent or over before i can continue with goto oh you suck you suck so hard game no no! <laughs> Why? That's so mean. Oh my god, man. I got so I gleaned so much information shit and I was like trying to piece it all together. I'm like, oh I can't wait going back in again. I I can only complete this prologue before I can go back and do this shit. Oh my god. Him and fucking Takatoshi. It's cause the, it's cause Takatoshi hangs out with Akino, right? And the Goto is just like, yeah, I'm just 
I'm a god, right? I'm a fucking god. I know everything, bitch. Ah, that make Nico sad. Basically means that Goto is likely going to be the one you do very last, right? That's kind of what the game wants. Hell, there might even be a point where you don't do, you can't do his last ones until literally everybody else is complete, completed. I wouldn't even be surprised. Let's continue a bit more with Yakashiji. She's the one that has, I've, haven't gotten the furthest on, so. She's the one most behind. I'm back. I guess Juro hasn't come home yet. Fluffy isn't here either. I should get dinner ready. Stop out of the third. Shimada coming in to pinch hit. He's closing in on a thousand hits. This could be it. Okay, time to get naked and put my apron on. When Juro gets here. What should I make for dinner? Uh, grilled mackerel, Hamburg steak. That is what Miura loves best, right? Is Miura here yet? I can't remember. We don't Hamburg. I think we have some ground beef. Spatula. What should I make for? Oh, I can change it. Okay. I'll make Juro's favorite meal. Time to cook some Hamburg steak. And done. I'm home. <gasps> oh, what a feast. Miracle. Did you make all of yep. this? Yep. Amazing. We'll eat once Juro gets back. Why don't you go wash up while we wait? Right. I wonder if this is going to be his first time trying Hamburg. Hamburger! <laughs> Mira's such a good boy. He's so cute. Sounds like you're pretty hungry. It's okay. I will wait. Well, it seems like Juro is going to be late. Go ahead and eat before it gets cold. <laughs> but Yakshi, she's really is a... She really revels in being a caretaker, though, doesn't she? No, I could never. She best mommy. Please, I insist. Go ahead. Uh, are you sure? But what about you, Megumi-san? Don't worry. I'll eat with Juro. I see. After you go to bed. In that case, I'll do as you suggest. He's just whole face in there. Thank you for always preparing our meals. It was as delicious as ever. Oh, thank you. Can I help you with anything? That's okay. I've already put away the cutting board and everything. Why don't you go watch some TV and relax? TV? That's better. Ooh! Ooh! I think I might like this idol business thing. You know, Miyura-kun, you don't have to wear your hat in the house. The surgical scar on your forehead doesn't bother me. Hmm. How did you know this scar was from surgery? Oh. Did I tell you? Oh. Well. It, um. Just a lucky guess. I see. Ooh, interesting. Remember, oh. Interesting, wait, wait. Can I talk to him anymore? No? He's gonna finally learn? What happened right here? How he got it? Last week. And that's that. Gitaro Miura is a witch. Oh. You can't overlook him just because he lives here. I thought he already had the scar by this point. So she's... Oh. But Juro could be home any minute. Does it have to be now? Yes, right now. <sighs> hey, 
Hey, baby now, cakes. Now, on to the next headline. The video store explosion that occurred today in Kayakicho. Felix is on TV. An investigation found that the accident was the result of a gas leak. This is what happened before. Uh. Where's my gun? Don't come over here, you coward. Hurry up and shoot him right in the forehead. Aww. Does it have to be the forehead? I guess I'll maybe we'll see. Does he just not have the scar yet? Miracle. You always wear your hat, even when you eat. Oh. Why is that? Oh, here we go. It's because I have a scar on my forehead. I thought it might be unpleasant. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. That scar, it allows you to pilot a sentinel. Isn't that right? How do you know about that? That's weird. So he, yes, right. He can already pile the sentinel. So what the fuck is she shooting him for? You want to know how? I'll tell you. But can you show me your forehead first? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I have no choice. This will hurt, but you'll soon forget. Ow! Right in my brain. I'm sorry, Miracun. Don't touch him. He's dangerous. <clears throat> Just as I thought. He's had surgery. There's a component embedded in his forehead. It forces them to use their magic. Who would do such a thing? Humans, obviously. It's doing it for him. I thought this was giving them the ability to pilot the Sentinels. It seemed like it was because everyone's getting shot in specific places, but maybe they already could at this point. Maybe this is like shooting them specifically where they already have the ability to pilot Sentinels and getting rid of the decode, maybe? To prevent them from calling the Kaiju? So it's like narrowing down, right? All the potential people that could have this key. There's many that greatly covet this power. But it's not entirely bad. That component gave him immunity to the curse. This is a good catch. The curse? Yes, he is able to use magic and not suffer the same fate as Juro. <gasps> All right, he's sealed. It won't be long before he wakes. Is it giving him the ability to pilot the Sentinels and not get infected? Ah, I don't know! I'd get out of here if I were you. A curse, huh? Probably why she feels so bad around Mira, right? On the gas explosion in Kiyakicho. The administration claims these explosions are being taken seriously. Oh. Gas companies have been put on immediate notice and instructed to be vigilant in their inspections. Gas explosion. This is when Juro summoned his, right? Doesn't feel right. I'm home. Yeah. Huh? Mira kun. Have you been at home the entire day? <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think Nero's like, that's not right. No, the gas explosions. Juro summoned his fucking uh, sentinel, and he's like, that. Why was that covered up? Hmm. I'm thinking, right? Because that later, this is gonna be right before he goes talks to him next day. Like, you know, that wasn't a gas explosion, you dipshit. Juro. I'll have to check the timeline. Welcome back. Dinner's on the table for you. Juro's like, whatever. It's fine. I'm not hungry, actually. Come on. I'm sure you'll change your mind once you start. Why do you care about me so much anyways? <laughs> this, look at it. Juro, this food has stayed hot for like three hours. Oh, is that bad? Yeah. <sighs> Just quit treating me like a child. You're not my mom. 
I hope. <laughs> Please, don't be my mom. Miyurikun? What's wrong? I'm sorry, but there's somewhere I need to go. I won't be long. A gas explosion. I need to see for myself. Interesting. Okay. Fluffy. Mr. Kitty. You failed to shoot a Sekigahara. You suck. You're going too damn slow. All right. Sorry. Why were you taking so long in there anyways? Striking stupid poses with your gun doesn't accomplish anything. <laughs> when it comes to things like this, you need to do the deed quick. Quickly, you got that? <sighs> I'm sorry I didn't catch that. Got it. You suck, Mr. Kitty! You're not nearly as nice as the cats in the anime! Well, nothing that can be done about it now. But you better not screw up this time. I swear to hairballs. This time? Shu Amiguchi, the floppy haired dunce that hangs around Juro. Oh! He is also a witch. Okay. So just before she shoots him. He should still have some bullets left. Seal his powers tomorrow. Think you can handle that? I'll get it done. Consider it done. Okay. Are we actually going to see it? From her perspective? Maybe we are. Are you watching me? That cat's not going to say anything yet. Fine. Oh. That is a different cat, I think. Yo. Good morning, Amiguchi kun. Morning. Do it right now. Do it, Yakshiji. Uh -huh. What's up? What do you want? <laughs> Jersey, so. I'm not here to talk to you, Kurabi kun. It's you I'd like to see, Amiguchi kun. Ah. Me? That's how he she lured him to the roof. You're from 1C, aren't you? I am. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. And I wanna fuck! Cool. So what can I do for you? Well, I don't really want to talk about it here. Could we meet somewhere later? Just the two of us? Clothing optional. Oh, I see. How about after school? Let's say the roof of the new building? It's Juro Jelly. The roof? Yep. I'll be waiting. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard being so popular. Oh, that's why Jiro Jiro's like, oh my god. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I thought you'd love me, dickhead! Does that bother you? No. I... <laughs> Juro yeeted the fuck out. He's like, not nah, screw it. Fluffy. I know what you're going to say. Do the deed quick. <laughs> right? I won't fail this time. <laughs> you better not. Oh, what? You did talk. Did the cat switch out when I wasn't looking? I want to rewatch that shit. See, I want to see. Did the cat like switch with another cat at any point? That one talked. Cause I'm paying the whole time. I'm paying attention to this shit, right? What is the point the two cats switch out? The fucking cheeky dickheads. I don't know. I want to look. I want to fucking see. I wonder we put it past this game. So maybe we are actually going to see from her perspective. Shoot at Gucci again, shot in the face. So I heard about the delinquents at our school. Oh. Apparently, they used to be a lot worse. I heard that too. My senpai told me. Ogata kun from 1D really reformed them. But isn't he a delinquent too? Yeah, but he's different from the others. Plus, Amiguchi kun hangs out with him. Oh, he is so dreamy. Ah! God, I'm so thirsty for Amaguchi. Oh, interesting. Go to Karabe's house. Stay at school. How would you do on that? <laughs> can I actually just? I can I just go home? I, I guess I can. Quiz. Nah, never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna Man, shoot him. Pop quizzes just aren't fair. Hey, you know Amaguchi? He's a first year like us. The girls fawn over him. He's great at sports, and his grades are higher than those nerds that study all the time. Wow, he's really got it all. Man, fuck that guy. Just seems there's any extra fluff or anything. Uh. 
No, okay. I do find it interesting I could leave, but I bet I imagine just reset the day. I probably just go back to making dinner again. All right, let's go shoot Amaguchi right in his dumb face. I wonder if he's already on the roof. So I guess we'll see the aftermath from her perspective now. There he is. All I have to do is shoot him. It'll only take a second. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm ready. You about to die today, Amaguchi? All right, Ninji was up here. Oh, I totally forgot. What's happening? <laughs> oh, this is Yakushiji san from 1C. Wait. She stopped me this morning. Told me she had something to talk to me about. <sighs> this shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I'll just get out of your way then. Huh? <laughs> Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, I'm sorry. Really. But I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. I'm not sure if I could actually skip it or not, because... Oh, sorry. Awkward. Uh, it's weird. It seems sort of sporadic, even though that's actually all the same thing we've seen. I mean, I, I was just kind of curious, but I don't mind sitting through it again. I guess I just assumed... Sorry about that. Well, what is it then? <sighs> okay, let me tell you. I got, I got a little gift for you, bitch. No need to apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. Ugh. Mission accomplished. All done. Sentinel number 20. Transmitted. <gasps> ah, shit. <sighs> I wonder if she's supposed to shoot them in a specific spot each time, though. It seemed like Miura was the only one that had, like, you have to shoot him in the forehead, right? Ah! Bye, Amaguchi! Oh! Girl! Robot. No way. Juro! What did you... Um... You... You shot amikuchi with a gun. No. And then a giant robot appeared. No. You saw everything? But why did you... Where did it fly off to? I need a bail! Run! The cops are gonna come! Jiro! Jiro! What the hell did you do <laughs> What the fuck? Fluffy. He must have come into contact with Miura too. Damn it! How irritating. Juro, he... He saw me do it. I'll take care of it. Oh... Oh... Did Shu get in contact with Miura at some point? Oh, I... Yeah, when Miura arrived, Nenji punched him, and I think Shu was with him. But is that why his... His sentinel, like, got triggered suddenly like that? Was because he'd already been in contact with Miura? But then why did Miura accidentally trigger his sentinel? I don't know, I'm confused. What are you still doing here? I need to manipulate his memories and make him forget everything he saw. You think I can do that with you hanging around? Take a hint and scram. Huh. <sighs> it's not magic. Definitely not magic. Oh, it's not magic. You know! <laughs> he needs to man manipulate his memories. Who the fuck is he? Is he... Is he Juro too? Is literally everybody Juro? Everyone's either Juro or Iori in this game. Or somebody's mom. <laughs> but yeah, why did Shoes go off this time? He said because he got in contact with Miura. Because I remember Okino talked about how Miura was like the catalyst, right? Like when he got in contact with people, it was going to basically 
like reawaken their nano machines. But then why didn't it happen with Mira? Why didn't he just like suddenly trigger his shit? Maybe because Mira is aware of his ability to summon the Sentinel and she isn't. Uh, I don't know. Um, got only two mystery files updated. Let's have a look. The gas explosion. The news report on TV said it was a gas leak that caused the explosion and damage to surrounding buildings. But it's really crabby being a ding dong. Yes, this is actually, this is where Mira makes contact with um, uh, Jura, right? So at the dock in 1945, Tsukasa Kino added a feature to Sentinel-19 that copies over the Sentinel force activation code to whoever comes into contact with Kitar Mira. This is the reason Karabe ended up summoning the Sentinel. And that also happens though, but technically so does Nenji then. Nenji also had contact with Mira, right? So does he, well, maybe he summons his robot. I don't know. He was, he only gets shot by, uh, Yakushiji while he's inside the simulation. But yeah, it does seem like that's the case. It's just that he made contact with him. I'm just not sure why it would have affected him and not Miura himself. Like who else is thrown into Miura? Oh yeah, not Natsuno has. But Natsuno's already been shot by um Kisaragi Android, i.e. Uh, 426. Though she tends to be serious and holds her emotions close to her chest, Yakushiji is very affectionate when it comes to Karabe, as seen when she moved into the Karabe house rather forcefully. Moreover, she's a skilled cook who whips up lunch and dinner for Karabe and Kitaro or Mira almost every day. I need to rewatch that one scene where she goes to school. I'm just kind of curious to see if the cats switch. <laughs> Kitaro, Mira, a witch, die, <laughs> die. I'm also kind of curious why he hasn't had Yakushiji shoot Juro yet. But then again, we don't know exactly what he's doing, right? What Mr. Kitty's doing. Okay, so we got the Central 20 activate and then from her perspective. Uh, okay, let me look at this one more time. I just want to see if if they were like as as coy as I, I think they could possibly be with this. Like some of the cat switches out. Yeah. You were waiting for me on purpose, weren't you? Oh. Uh, I keep telling you, if they find out. Oh, I didn't actually trigger this last time. Get expelled. Yeah, I know. <sighs> right. Okay. Oh. Still watching the cat. Does that bother no. Oh, it cuts to the right, cuts back. I mean, it's not impossible he could have switched out, right? Miyuko was looking at uh, her talking, too, to the cat. Hmm. I don't know. I'm curious to see if she actually saw the cat, if this is, like, again, like another uh, Kyuta Shiba thing or, or what. All right, she's not been locked off or anything. All right, well, uh, let's do one more Kyakushiji, then. Hey, baby. So did he fuck with his memories? Sure. Um. What is it? You're making a weird face. Huh? Um. Well, because of what happened on the roof today. Yeah. The roof? What are you talking about? Uh, Luffy. He really did alter his memories. Mr. Kitty is very talented. Uh, can't look at my thought cloud here. It's nothing. I'll start making dinner. Oh, you don't have to. I'll just make instant noodles or something later. You can't eat that for dinner. It won't take long, so hang on just a bit. Okay? I really just wanted some ramen. Now to the ongoing story of the American helicopter crash. Huh? During a routine flyby, a U.S. military helicopter... Now a new fake story. ...Sakura High School at low altitude. Uh. ...and crash landed into Ayame Park. A U.S. military But it's okay, we've already cleaned it up and everyone's forgotten about it. That was definitely a sentinel. Did Fluffy do this too? What is the extent of Fluffy's powers? What a nice evening. Ah! Fluffy. Fortunately, there were no injuries reported in the aftermath of the U.S. military helicopter crash. First gas explosions, now helicopter crashes. Human cities really are the worst. Oh. Mr. Kitty, you need to start paying rent. Change the channel for me, will you? The buttons are too small for my cat paws. I 
I'm gonna turn the fuck off. Are you trying to be a jerk? Hey, asshole. <laughs> turn the TV back on. Can't you be a bit cuter about it? Please, I'm way cuter than you'll ever be. Oh, that's it. You're going out. You're going to the trash can, Mr. Kitty. Ugh, boring. Keep going. Oh, yes. That's the one. All right, change it back. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to see what happens. Hey, go back. <laughs> hey! I'm watching TV. <laughs> Kindly go away. Okay, you're a real, you're a real dickhead. You know that? There was no U.S. helicopter crash. It was different from the one Jura was piloting, but it was a sentinel. Altering the news is part of your powers too. You think cats are some kind of little furry gods? You're no cat. Well, duh. It'd be pretty crazy if there was a talking cat wandering around. <laughs> Wait a minute. What if you're the crazy one? Maybe I'm just a figment of your imagination. No! Maybe there's no such thing as magic. <laughs> no! We're not you're using that pop point again, alright? That's Juro's pop twist, okay? Juro's memories of what happened on the roof. You really did erase them. You gave me no choice. But if you can do it so easily, what's to say you won't do the same to me? Well, nothing really. <laughs> so it's possible that you won't restore his memories and are just using me for your own personal gain. If I was a bad guy, sure. You are a bad guy, Mr. Kitty. Evil Kitty. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Clark's three laws, huh? Well, guess there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'm a cat-like robot from the future. I even gave you a secret gadget. <laughs> He's so full of oh, shit. Oh yeah, the time machine's inside your desk drawer. Wanna check out my four-dimensional pocket? Quit messing with me. Man, fuck you, Mr. Kitty. I am so sick of your bullshit. The Dimos code. I'm gonna shoot you. By sealing those that hold power, we'll be able to defeat the Kaiju. That's what you said, right? I said that you all wouldn't have to die. Tell me what you're really trying to do. Otherwise, I won't help you anymore. And no more scratches. That's going against our contract. Fine, I'll make an exception this time. Even if you seal the witches, the kaiju will still come. Then what are we sealing them for? This is a game. A game of survival. I've simply been readying the playing field. And now the witches will join in the fight. They'll have no choice but to take their sentinels into battle. Then, what I've been shooting them with is... A magic that forces them onto the battlefield. No. Anything can be resolved with a magical spell. A happy ending for everyone. You know that's not the way it works. Your world's future is on the line. You need to fight to win it. I'm just here to watch it happen. Huh. It forces them onto the battlefield. How exactly? You're talking to me way too much today. What does it matter to you who I am anyways? Your only concern is for Juro, right? I've been looking for memories in that busted brain of his. It's like trying to sift through mud, and it's all for you. But if you want to break our contract, then I'll stop right now. It won't be hard to find someone more capable than you. An honest girl who actually wants her wish granted. Shoot him, Yakushiji. Put that gun and shoot him right in his stupid face. Do it, Yakushiji. Make Mr. Kitty pay. Now, 
If you plan on upholding your end of the contract, then I need proof. I want you to shoot your friend. Tomi Kisaragi. She's a witch. I can't do that! Remember your contract. Remember it real good. I don't think we've seen Tomi get shot. Tomi. Damn it. How many more fucking people do I have to kill, Fluffy? Think about it. No. Miss Kitty. Think about the contract, then decide what you want to do. I'm watching TV now. Quit bothering me. Miyuki Inaba is super hot. Think about it. Think about that contract. We're going to think about like the day that... Oh, the day Fluffy arrived. So we're actually going to see her make the contract or something. Because we never actually did see that. She was just kind of like... Just kind of got started on it. Juro. Why are you sleeping out here? You're going to catch a cold. Don't wake him up. <laughs> you again. But how... <laughs> He <laughs> just comes out of fucking nowhere. Hello. I'm here too. I was giving him belly rubs. Aha. Nice twist, huh? What? Don't give me that look. Don't look so pissed at me. I'm your pal, Mr. Kitty. I said don't wake him up, idiot. I'm fixing him. This prank is starting to get on my nerves. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. Is someone trying to test me? You really are a suspicious one, aren't you? Your cute girl charm is quickly wearing off. It's time to start accepting your reality. But... Talking cats don't exist. That's right. And yet here I am. Even better, I know your wish. Hasn't Juro said anything to you? Something about his dreams, perhaps? Now that you mention it, he did say he had a dream about getting in a robot. Yes, I've been digging through his memories. Will that make him remember everything? Maybe, if they're still in there. <sighs> so, like, is Fluffy just Juro Izumi as well? Like, 426 or some shit? Is he the one sicking Kiyuta Shiba on Juro? I'll have to see where this takes place here, right? And when Kiyuta Shiba starts showing up. I can find memories and put them back into an empty head. Pretty amazing, I know. Well, that's the end of your trial period. I gave you a preview of the benefits you'll get from me. Anything further requires a contract. <sighs> Uh, fine, I'll answer any questions you have. And then you have to decide. After you agree, there'll be no more questions. I expect you to carry out your duties with no complaints. Don't be shy. Ask me something. If you're not going to ask anything, then make your choice. Uh, think some more. I, uh... What exactly are you? A magic cat, obviously. You said you came from a world that was destroyed? That's right. My world was destroyed by Daimos. Daimos? You mean the kaiju, right? You heard that from Juro Izumi, didn't you? Hmm. The curse that summons them. That's the Daimos Code. And all the witches in this world are affected by it. Can you tell me more about the witches? They are those born with the power of magic. Piloting sentinels, using gates. It's only a fraction of their power. Okay, so that's going to be the compatibility of the nanomachines, right? And Juro is one of them? That's right. He's a witch, too. The Daimos Code. 
You mentioned that before. Decode? You said it was a relic of an ancient civilization? A terribly old relic. From a magical civilization that existed millions of years ago. But if it's from that long ago, humans would have still been apes. It's pretty crazy, right? Let's say I do agree to this contract. How do I know you'll hold up your end of the deal? Well, aren't you rude? Cats are free spirits, but they are not con artists. A cat who betrays his word is nothing more than an animal. If you don't trust me, then say so. You're only wasting time. <sighs> What will I have to do to fulfill my end of the contract? At least a general idea. Your job isn't hard. First, I will give you one of my magical tools. You will use that to seal the witches. Seal them? What happens after that? The Daimos Code will call the Kaiju. If you seal the witches that have access to it, you will be able to live longer than you are fated. Don't be shy if you're not going to... Okay. Uh, oh, I see. Decline. Oh, interesting. I, I couldn't actually accept it the first time. Now I can. You can fix Juro, right? Sifting through someone's head is what I'm best at. Oh. Okay. I will accept your contract. Then it's settled. Now, this should go without saying. But this agreement between us... If anyone finds out, the contract will be broken. And you'll never see me again. What's your real name? Call me whatever you want. Well, I don't know then. You called me something when you saw me at school. What was it? Oh, um... Fluffy. <sighs> now, how lame. Not very original, are you? Lots of things are fluffy. Well, whatever. I guess that's fine. <laughs> whatever. Hmm. Interesting. Guys, don't talk to the cat. You'll be stuck in a time loop. Cute. Look at his fluff. He looks so soft. Oh, oh you're look right. at that. <laughs> Acting all oh, high and mighty he last night. Me again. I bet he just likes the attention. Are you hungry, little guy? So cute. Oh. Uh. Megumi. Kisaragi! I feel like we haven't talked in forever. Yeah. Good Me morning, Osami-chan. Morning. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Yeah, despite them both you come from the same pirate. Go with your friend. The same time period. You're my friend too. Or did you forget that? Well, anyways, I noticed something the other day. It was how unusually quiet your room was. So you can understand my surprise when I saw that all your things were gone. Oh. Right. I'm sorry for not saying anything. That's okay. Just kind of feels like a waste. Not taking advantage of the apartment Shikishima got for us. Oh. Huh. Then again, they are Showa era buildings. Ah. So I guess they're not that great. That's where they've been staying, huh? When they got it transported here. So, where are you living now? Oh, um, at Juro Karabe's house. Hold up, you're living with him? Seriously? Hot! You have Morimura's permission for that, right? Well, probably. Oh. Hmm. Oh. You've changed, Megumi. You think so? You've been way more proactive since you came here. Which is a good thing and all. It's just... Uh, well, 
you know, he's not... And I've got this sick gun! Check it out! Boom! I know that. But I don't care. Since the day Juro showed up, no matter how much the world might change, I decided that I would always be by his side. Oh. Ah, oh, sheesh, Megumi. But I get it. I'll help any way I can. We're friends, you know? You can talk to me about anything. Oh, right. Thank you. I'm gonna have to shoot you, though. Come on. We're gonna be late. Thanks for guilting me into this shit. Tomi. I don't deserve your friendship. I hope one day you can forgive me. I'm a dirty liar. It's time. I have to shoot Tony. Where are we going to do this? Uh, anything new? Nope. Okay, then. Usami-chan, wait! <sighs> what now? I changed my mind on the melon pan. Make it a chocolate cornet instead. Oh, come on. <laughs> Goddamn miracle! Okay, I'll be waiting. Give me a melon pan! So Yori wanted... Egg pan? No, it was an egg sandwich and strawberry milk. What's wrong? Hey, Megumi. I lost at rock, paper, scissors. So I have to get stuff for everyone from the cafeteria. Man, I'm the one who suggested it, too. Oh, right. I gotta hurry. You sure you wanna wait here? If you don't hurry, they're gonna run out. <laughs> I'm tired of the chaos buying a piece of bread brings. From today on, I'll only have nice, relaxing bentos from mom. Man, you're such a mama's boy. Man, fuck you! <laughs> All right, time to go kill this bitch. Oh, there's Ninji. We're gonna see her and Tomi interact. Is before that? Animals. Uh, Kisaragi. Oh, good timing. Uh, Hold this. definitely not. Hey. All right, one more time. Hey, wait. <laughs> I need to buy something too. <laughs> Fine. What do you want? Oh, uh, Anpan. I thought you didn't like sweets. Huh? I like sweets. Well, whatever. I'll get yours too. Keep holding that. It's a Yakisoba pod. Give me that. <laughs> and she's like, uh. All right, time to shoot her in the fucking back of the brain. I mean, how the fuck would she not see this or anybody else? You trying to buy bread too, Megami? I, yeah. Want me to get something for you too? Oh, no. I'm still looking. If you don't decide soon, there's gonna be nothing left. Okay. Out of the way, you nerds! This ca this capture is fucking chaos. Okay, seriously, how is how will nobody see this? Tony, please forgive me. Tell me, what happened? Are you okay? Uh. Just hang on. Don't push yourself. Aw. Ninja looking after his girl. Are you okay? Take you to the nurse's office? Huh? The cafeteria? Why are you here? Oh, right. Rock the hmm. What else did I need to buy? <sighs> I can't pick the food up. Yakashiji's sad. That girl. 
And she's like, what the fuck? Oh. Hey, you. Hang on a sec. I saw you. You did something to Kisaragi in the cafeteria, didn't you? Huh? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh. Hang on. Don't play dumb. And this isn't just about Kisaragi. <sighs> I can't remember it exactly, but... You were the one who helped me before, I think. Oh, shit. This takes place after that. Oh, wow. So he's already been... This is actually already after that. Okay. Is that right? Please stop. If you don't leave me alone, I'll call for help. Make a break for it. I guess that answers that. It was her. Ooh, all right, cool. I'm a dirty liar. Ooh, all right. So this does take place after that. So the contract was made just before she goes after it out and shoots uh, Goto in the fucking face. The contract starts actually halfway into this whole timeline. Yep, and here's uh, where she helps him out. Escape from the factory. And then here we go. Yep, it definitely did. It's not fucking magic. Oh, interesting. This is actually pretty far into Ninji's thing. There's only three other events that he's he's in that we'll see before his breaking breaking my limits oh wow there's actually quite a few more with Nenji as well though in the past year oh wait is this back when oh this is yeah this is involved this involves uh kisaragi's stuff of course all right what we got magical gun the gun supposedly seals the power of witches those who get shot by the magical gun are forced into a game of survival the daimos code the daimos code is the code that summons the Daimos, the Kaiju. No shit. Uh, the Kaiju. Daimos is the general generic name for the Kaiju, and there are many types. Some models can be as large as entire buildings, while others are the size of about a of a large car. Ooh, three laws. Three laws written by a famous author, well known for his science fiction piece from the 20th century of 2001: A Space Odyssey. One, when a distinguished but elderly scientist states that something is possible, he is almost certainly right. When he states that something is impossible, he is very probably wrong. Uh, two, the only way of discovering the limits of the of the possible is to venture a little past them into the impossible. Three, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Yeah, it's funny. I never heard of the first two, but I definitely heard of the third one. I've never seen, like, Sathurin actually watch all Space Odyssey. I've just seen, like, you know, bits and pieces, the famous scenes, and, of course, the ending. All right, it's not locked off yet either, but I think it might be time to do another destruction before we finish things off. Uh, okay, so I need uh, Shinome Sekigahara on the strike team. Okay, I already got that. First generation, second generation only on the strike team. Ooh, okay. And thankfully, oh, thankfully all of them are available, so that's good. What an interesting stipulation, though. It's like, if I was going to try to do this in a single run, wouldn't I already have Shinome and Sekigahara on the strike team? Because those are the those are Gen 1 and Gen 2. Uh, modified Shield Apsos Kaiju will appear. Uh... S rank will give me R-mounted pulse lasers and then bonus reward, uh, rewards uh, communication device. All right, let's give it a go. Almost finished with this area. I have to say, the composite ceramic armor. Our enemies have some smart looking defenses. Between kit like that and a chance to disengage my limiters, my sentinel would be invincible. Fuck yeah. Sounds to me like you're just looking for an excuse to punch them. I have all I need. Let them send their machine swarms and their four-legged beasts. I'll take them all down myself. Not without an EMP, dumbass. You can't just punch the flyers and the shield guys. Why do you even want extra armor? Isn't that why you got your defense mode? You need to pick your equipment based on the situation. If you two want to play hero, do it on your own time. What'd you say? You really are trying to start shit, huh? Don't want me in with Ogata. I'm actually serious about winning. <laughs> oh, and you don't think I'm serious, Hijiyama? Do I sound like I'm joking to you? Hey, don't let me interrupt you guys, but uh, we've got company. Quit measuring your dicks and let's fight. All right, here we go. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and set up some mother flipping sentries. Uh, holy fuck. Shit ton of flyers. And there's the shield guy. There to fuck everything up for us. Eat this. Ah. Shield guy's still alive. Oh, fuck. There's a big dick in there. I did not see him. All right, Ninji. Time to fuck him up. Oh, now, now piss. Ah. Breaking my limits. Uh-oh. Oh, a lot of them. Alright, he's coming for me. Or am I coming for him? Ah, fuck you. You both died today. Alright. I'm gonna have my Gen 1 guys go after these dumb shield dudes. Breaking free. Everybody break their limits and go for it. Okay, I'm thinking they can probably kill these guys in a single fucking punch, right? Yep. Bonk. Bonk. I was giving a lot of ET back too. Okay, in the meantime, we are gonna be over here just setting up our fucking sentries. Punch this dude. Bonk. Holy shit. Bring him down. Ah, everybody dies. Okay, those bombs are still there. Okay, we got some big, thick guys over here. Okay, bring him down again. Fuck that guy up. Bring him down. Boom. Oh god. Bring him down. Ba -ba 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 bang yes. Let's see if Denji can kill both these guys in a single move. Holy fuck he can. Like Absolute god. Boom, boom, boom. The practice round's over. And victory. I'd say I'm getting pretty good at this shit. Save the world, aside from Aegis. Damn you, Kinema, what do you got in me? Wow! Ryoko was actually the MVP. I thought for sure it'd be, uh, uh, Ninji. Uh, talk to us, you learned tactics drill. You already learned at his side. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Oh, I definitely have to rank that shit. Our mounted pulse lasers. Okay. Boom, boom. Communication device. Probably the thing that uh, A has. So many mystery points. I do actually really wonder if at some point, uh, you know, like these mystery points are going to be used for something else. Once I've like gotten all the files. Um, 
Yeah, there's only one left now. Uh, oh, I think I actually got a few skills last time. I'm not sure if I looked at it. Watch me, Juro. Whenever Krabbe is nearby, attack significantly increases. Good. Sounds about right. Uh, tactic drill for Miura. Attack increases when the total number of combos exceeds 100. Ooh, neat. Are there combos this game? I didn't even notice that. Is that like after killing a whole bunch of enemies or something? Or just in like grand total? Does like, does it stay like in on just during the match if you manage to get a lot back to back? I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, at his side. If Sekihara's in the strike team, increases all stats. Good. Uh, tactic drill increases total number of combos exceeds 100. Okay. Um, and I think I've seen the rest. Okay, I managed to get everybody's stuff up to plus four, or at least of the skills that they're using or have currently on them. And that last fight, I only actually had EMP on Nenji, and I was like, okay, that was kind of a bad idea, at least in that instance, because that's why I ended up using the, uh, the phase system or whatever from the terminal to knock him down, because only Nenji had had any way of actually bringing him down to the ground. So I decided actually instead, I'm gonna take off um, took off leap attack on A here and put EMP surrounding. Because honestly, he's got, the leap attack thing does make him more mobile, but honestly, God, like you just un, like turn off your limiter and move, you can get there in like half a second. They're so fast. And he's already got a move that can uh, hit guys on the ground, which is the anti, uh, uh, yeah, ground multi-lock missile, which is really good for uh, uh, big groups of enemies. And that gives him a nice variety too. So he's got leap attack. Tactic has got tackle. Composite ceramic armor and counter. counter. He doesn't have an EMP, but uh, I'm just going to keep it off him and just keep it on the other two. I think we'll be good. Like, I like there's a fair amount of variety too to each character, you know? Like, they have like similar things, but there are differences between them and also different pilot skills. All right, communication device. A transceiver used by the men in black suits. Its range is comparatively limited at 1.2 kilometers. So that's what uh a ends up getting too right when he's like talking to that one dude um arm mounted pulse lasers fourth generation sentinel armament shoots laser beams from both arms intermittently to make the intervals between each burst shorter it sacrifices some for precision but since it can fire many lasers in a wide area it is often used to keep enemy forces in check fourth generation units are the only sentinels capable of using laser weapons the arm mounted pulse lasers being one of them okay cool i still have yet to hit actually halfway on uh, analysis surprisingly but all right guys this seems like a good place to end things here for now i'm still fucking pissed that they locked me off from goto i all i could do is do his prologue and then they're like all right good job wait till the end of the game before you play any more of his seriously only 14 percent. that's all they're giving me of his whole entire plot fuck you damn i was so excited too but it was a good taste, I will say. A good taste it was to come. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not ready to become Piggy Penguin. I'm boy the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.